Hi everyone, I'm back again with another thrift store haul. This is part of the items that I picked up in Bozeman in early December. And this is a different store in Bozeman. It's called Saks and it's kind of hit, hit and miss for me. Sometimes I go in and I come out with bags of items and then sometimes I come out with nothing. So on this particular trip, I did pretty good and I'll um, get the light box cleared out and show you what I picked up. For everything that I'm going to show you, I did pay $59.75 and um, there's one item in here, this glass piece that I noticed was broken, but um, I didn't notice that until I was already checking out, had paid, and the lady was bagging up my items. All right. So I'll get the light box cleared out and I'll start the haul. All right. So since I talked about this item, I'll go ahead and start with this one. Um, this is a crackle glass pitcher or creamer really. And, um, I saw this on the shelf and I just grabbed it and put it in the basket and I didn't really take time to go back and look at it. But luckily I did only pay 75 cents for this item, but there is a really bad, um, crack. And I think this was actually broken and possibly repaired because there is a big, um, divot out of the glass right here and then the handle is cracked and that's what I saw um, in the store but it was after checkout was the crack and um, my mom was kind of standing next to me waiting in line and she saw me staring at it and she goes what's wrong and I said oh I said I I think I picked up a broken item and she reached over and ran her finger across it and she goes yeah she goes I can feel it but it wasn't until I got it home and I looked in the light box and I saw that this big divot was out. So, um, this one I'm probably going to keep. Um, it is really pretty blue. I was hoping that I could probably sell it for, um, it's, it's hefty, you know, it's got quite a bit of weight for it. So I was hoping I could sell it for about 18 to 25 but with that damage um, it probably won't sell so I will just add that to my collection of blue glass I do have um, a little little collection of blue glass that I'm accumulating so that's fine it just teaches me a lesson or reminds me to really look at items much closer next time but I got excited I saw the blue glass and I was really happy <laughs> this is another item that I picked up right when I walked in the door I believe that this is the correct backing for this um, and it does say sterling silver and mixed metals but I need to get it off the the cardboard backing and um, just make sure that this is correct um, but it does say made in Mexico designed in California for, and it's far-fetched so um, but I make quite a few trips to Hawaii every year um, at least one one time every year and so this one I'm just gonna add to my own brooch pin collection and I'll just enjoy her um let's see what did we pay I don't see this uh 50 cents yep 50 cents so I'll take it if it is really sterling um e even if it's not I'll I'm happy with it for 50 cents and I'll just enjoy it. I think she's cute. All right. You know, sometimes that's the way it works. <laughs> so 
Yes, I know I'm getting these probably listed. Well, I know I'm getting it listed after Christmas because it is after Christmas already. It's actually New Year's Day, but um, I'll probably go ahead and list these two ornaments. This is a Hallmark Disney Donald surprising gift ornament. Um, I did pay $2 for this one and looking for a date which I don't see oh 19 1997 so yeah so these are vintage and um, I did open these in the store and they did look really good the original price on this one looks like it was $12.95 Let me pull this guy back out. And he does have his, um, it's funny, people keep putting these back in to the package backwards. I think it is supposed to face down like this, if I remember correctly. Um, but anyway, um, He's in really good condition, no chips or cracks, and um, really cute. He's dated on the bottom. So like I said, he has his original cello pack and um, his card, his information card. And a nice little graphic. Oh well, Merry Christmas anyway. <laughs> um, so I think this was selling pretty good. Um, I probably can make about 18 to 20 dollars for this one. I'll put this back in the box a little bit later and then this one is really good um I saw this one first and I did pay four dollars for this one this is also a Disney Steamboat Willie Walt Disney Mickey Mouse ornament sound and magic motion and this one was originally 24 this one is dated ooh 2003 so yep this one is also vintage um yeah and this is based off of the steamboat willy character that was first released november 18th of 1928 so that's why it has like this um black and white look to it um because you can find old clips or old cartoons of this character. And this one was selling really well. Um, let's see, it has the original cello pack, the paper instruction and warranty. I almost dropped it. And um, I will test this and just make sure that it is working okay. Um, but it looks like it would be fine. Um, but all the pieces are there. No chips or cracks. Um, so it probably... So this piece looks like it plugs into a light and then um, it makes music and it lights up. Oh, so he probably, he's probably even animated. Um, this thing probably makes noise and he probably pulls. So I'll, um, when he pulls on the horn, it probably makes noise and he moves. So, um, I would even say this is animated, not just light and music, but, um, I'll test them out 
and see what he's looking like but I think these were selling pretty well for um, you know 50 to 80 might might even be higher I will um, go back and double check comps but I remember when I saw this one um, the comps were pretty good for this so and um, like I said I did double check it in the store and just made sure that um, he was in good condition so I picked that up and put it in the cart right away especially for four dollars so I don't know if they um, don't look at comps in that store because their pricing is usually pretty low but that's okay with me oh and I also in the box he also did have it's almost like a collector's card or a two two from tag so he did have that too so he looks like he's all all original in good condition you know and I don't know who gets rid of this stuff I don't know somebody gets rid of some really good stuff okay and then the next two items that I picked up were these sunset counted cross stitch kits they're a finished size stocking in eight inches santa rides a rainbow and then you can add your own name to them so they're both still sealed with the original color guide fabric um, the floss and they typically come with a needle as well let's see if it has that felt needle yep so there's some type of felt maybe that's um a felt backing um needle full color print complete instructions yep yeah. and then i think um the roman numeral is 1982 San Ramon, California. Um, so I only paid a dollar for these, but these will probably sell for about twenty to thirty dollars online. Um, and I might even ask mom if she wants one or both of these to do, or maybe not because you have to stitch a name on them. So I, I'll probably just sell the kits as they are. But these will probably sell pretty well, and hopefully I can get. Um, up to 30 for each of these um, I got two and I paid a dollar for each of those and then I also picked up it looks like four of these holiday ribbon angels um, this one has a church on it Um, and these are all sealed and I only paid a dollar for these and I'm looking to see if there is a date on these I don't see a date uh, made in the USA but it comes with um, the floss the ribbon there's like a it's a clothes pin the needle the cotton backing um, and these I can probably get like 15 to 18 for these um, and I think that I have bought something similar like Halloween kits at Walmart so I'm assuming that these may have been sold at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that so that's why I'm thinking maybe only uh, 15 to 18 and these are a little bit newer even though I don't see a date on these which is strange um, but this is the church one this is bells this one is the Christmas quilt
and this one is the poinsettia, poinsettia basket. So really cute. Um, I just noticed a, another sticker under this price sticker, so I'm trying to see if I can... Ah, okay. So these are from the hum, Humboldt, Humboldt outlet store for $2.99. Yeah, I don't know. Um, looks like maybe somebody moved into Montana and um, we're cleaning out some of their craft items. But those are still a really good pickup for me. Um, and I will go ahead and list those even though they're Christmas items. And then this one I thought was super sweet. This is a Kathy... Needlecraft, Golden Ovals, Daisy Girl, and it's, it's on a 6x6 white cotton linen fabric, and it comes with embroidery floss, a needle, a three and three eighths inch by four and three eighths inch frame, the mounting board, the full color print, complete illustrated instructions. Uh, but she's really sweet. She's just a little mouse in a dress with maybe like a little pink apron. It's like a blue dress with a pink apron. She's got a pink bow and uh, maybe some I don't know, hollyhocks or some type of flower in the background. And then some little yellow dandelions in the front, maybe. I wonder why she's called Daisy Girl. Is she holding daisies? Those look like little violets or something. Anyway, she's really cute. I don't see a date on this one either, but this looks a little bit older, so... And again, probably um, up to 18 for this one. I just really like the colors, the nice pastel colors of this one. Okay, and then this is going to be a little bit tough to get in the shot, but... I did get two sets of placemats, and these are by Lulu DK for Matuk. I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, but I did pay, I got two of these, and I did pay $10 each, and they're like this bright coral peach color, and then they have like this white embroidered trim all the way around. And they look like they're brand new in package. Um, they're 13 by 19 placemats in a set of four. Made in USA. And um, there's the tag I'm trying to get in there. 60% cotton, 40% polyester, machine wash warm. So when I looked up that brand, Lulu DK, um, her items, I think it's her, her items sell for quite a bit. So I'll, um, do some additional comps on those, but those will probably sell for 50 and up per pack, I'm assuming. Um, 